Hi, my name is Johanna and I am a keeper at Lincoln Children's Zoo and we are here at the Humboldt Penguin Exhibit with Cora, Isley, and Jay and we are going to talk about penguins today. Why do animals look different from each other? That is a great question. So animals of course look different from each other, different species, because they do different behaviors and different things. So a penguin looks different from another bird, like an eagle, because they just live differently. So penguins swim, eagles fly, so their wings are built differently, their feet are built differently, their beaks are built differently. But even among the penguins behind us, like right like Pebbles, she looks different from a lot of the other penguins here, and it might kind of be hard for us to tell, but, but they do look different from each other just because of individual variation, just like, you know, you and I look different from each other. You know, maybe we can't tell just by looking at the penguins, but you and I can look at each other and know that we look different from each other. What are some similarities in these penguins? That's a great question. Penguins have a couple of similarities based on what they need to survive. So among these penguins here, they all have a couple similarities that they're all gonna have. So they all have the black color on their back and they all have the white on their belly. That's called counter shading. That's the big fancy term for that. But that's kind of like their camouflage underwater. They all have webbed feet. Can you guess why they have webbed feet? So they can swim? Yeah, so they can swim. They all have those funky shaped beaks. So those beaks are great for catching slippery fish in the water. And they all have the same kind of feathers. So penguin feathers are really, really small and they're really, really dense because that's kind of like their wetsuit. It keeps them from getting too wet and cold when they're swimming in cold ocean water. How do penguins live in the wild? How do they live in the wild? These penguins are a little bit different from a lot of penguins that people think of, right? Normally, if you think of a penguin, you think of cold and snow and ice, like the penguins in Antarctica. Humboldt penguins, like these guys behind us, they actually like warm weather. So they live in South America on the rocky shorelines. And if you look behind us at that picture on the wall, that is a picture of wild Humboldt penguins. So they live on those big rocks that border the ocean. And that's where they build their nests too. So the baby penguins, when they hatch, are kind of protected, nestled in amongst the rocks while the adults go out and get food and come back to feed the babies. And then as the babies grow up and get older and are ready to swim, they can hop down the rocks into the ocean and start practicing their swimming skills. How do penguins find me? In the wild, penguins find mates by kind of displaying for each other. The males, so the boy penguins, are going to build a nice nest, kind of get that all ready to go. And if you look behind us on the wall, you see a penguin going into a tunnel right there. Those tunnels in the back of the wall are nest burrows. So the penguins here, just like the ones in the wild, are going to prepare nests. And then the girl penguins are kind of going to determine if they like the nest or not. If the male is calling, he has a nice song for the female. And penguins usually mate for life. So once they pick a partner, they are going to stay together for as long as it takes. Do baby penguins look different from adult penguins? They do. When baby penguins hatch, they're pretty small. They're only about this big and they are little black fuzzy birds with really awkward big feet and awkward big beaks. So they don't have the waterproof feathers yet like the adults have. What they've got are down feathers. So down feathers are really, really soft and fluffy and good at helping to keep them warm. But when they're babies and they're very little, they can't really move and walk anywhere yet. So they need the adults to help them out and bring them food and still help to keep them warm if it gets really chilly. But then as they get bigger, they grow and that down gets a little more gray. And pretty soon they'll be full size, just as big as pebbles here, but they'll still be covered in all of that down fluff. 
And then when they are a couple months old, that's when they start growing in their adult feathers. And that down feather starts to kind of fall off and then they look really kind of funny for a while. Like they've got like maybe some Einstein hairdo with the down fluff that's left on them as they grow in their adult feathers. Wow, that's cool. It is pretty cool. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna hand you each some fish. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Nine? Yep, go ahead. She's so small. Isn't she? One, two, two three. three. Bubble, bubble. Oh, she's gonna help you tie your shoe. Hello, <laughs>